Football Number Two and Number One. In this video, we are going to discuss question number seven until ten in topic three. Okay, we start with question number seven. So, in this question, we have a woman that drags a twenty kg suitcase with a forty-five meter force at a constant speed as shown in figure four. So the frictional force on the suitcase is 80 newton. With the help of a green body diagram, calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction between the suitcase and the door. Okay. So firstly, let's draw all the forces that are acting on the suitcase. Okay. So we have the weight of the suitcase acting on weight. Okay, because the suitcase has a mass of 23 kg and then there is a 45 newton force here okay and then the frictional force we act on the opposite direction of motion so since the suitcase moved to the right so the opposite direction of motion is to the left so this is our kinetic frictional force okay and i think that is all the forces oh, oh sorry we also have the normal force yeah Okay, because the suitcase is in contact with the ground. Maybe not very visible, let me change color. Okay, this is our normal force, like acting outward. Okay, so then uh, we can sketch our free body diagram. So the suitcase becomes a particle. We have our weight acting downward. And then we have our normal acting outward. We have our frictional force to the left. Okay, and then we have the external force, the pulling force, the 45 meter force at an angle theta that we doesn't get. Okay. okay, so this is our free body diagram. It says here that um, the woman drags the suitcase with a constant speed. So if they have a constant speed, means the acceleration is zero. Okay, so that your Acceleration in x axis is zero, in y axis is zero. So this is the important information that you have to come up with by reading the question. So then what we need to find here is the coefficient of the kinetic friction, which is our mu k. Okay. To find that, um, we need to find the normal force lah, because uh, f k is equal to mu k n. But then we have already had the FK, which is 18 Newton. But we don't know what is the normal force. Okay. So, firstly, we need to find the angle. Okay, what is the angle that the uh, uh, 45 Newton force has? So, using our FX equal to 0, because there is no acceleration, it moves at constant velocity. So, secara horizontal, horizontally, we have two forces. The external force, F, and juga the frictional force. So, they both is zero means that um, forces on the right, so F cos theta. Okay, this is the X component of the 45 Newton force. So, let me just uh, draw it here. So, this is our FX, which is F cos theta. And then, we have our FY. So both are positive values because to the right is positive, upward is positive. So for F I we be F sine theta. Okay. And then by continuing on our work earlier, so F cos theta, which is the component on the right, minus it with our frictional force, okay. And that would be equal to zero. Okay. So then substituting our values, the external force, the pulling force is 45 cos theta minus the frictional force is 18 newton minus 18 equal to 0 okay so then we can solve for theta lah where um, here cos theta is equal to 18 over 45 so theta is equal to r cosine of 18 over 45 and then pressing on your calculator we get a value of 66.42 degrees. Okay, so now you have the angle. Then you use your y component because vertically the forces in the 
vertical direction also equal to zero. It means that normal, the normal force plus Fy, okay, is equal to the weight. Okay, so on the left here, I have uh, to the left of the equal sign here. Okay, this is all the forces. Uh, this is all the outward forces, lah. Okay, this is all the outward forces. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's supposed to be equal to weight. My bad. This is supposed to be equal to weight. This is W. The W itself is all the forces that I have downward. So this is my downward force. Okay. So when we say that the force is in equilibrium, it means that upward forces is equal to downward forces lah. Uh, leftward equal to rightward lah. Kiri dan kanan sama atau dah bawah sama. Okay. So then uh, we substitute our values because here we need to find what is our normal force. So n is the n plus uh, f sine theta is equal to mg. So we can find normal force. So the normal is equal to mg minus f sine theta. So the mass is 23 kg times 9.81 that is our gravitational acceleration minus 45 sine the angle that we have just calculated before 66.5 degrees so we get our normal to be 134.39 okay so then we already have the normal force okay we are running out of space here let me just squeeze, squeeze it on the right um, so our fk is equal to mu kn therefore our mu k is equal to fk over the normal force so this is uh, 18 the frictional force is 18 newton normal force is 184.39 therefore we will get a value of 0 0.0976 okay i love to leave it uh, with three significant figures or two decimal place, whichever is more significant. Lah. Okay, so that is question number seven. Moving on to question number eight. Figure five shows an object of mass two kg placed on a rough plane inclined at thirty degrees with the horizontal. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the object and the plane surface is zero point two five. The constant horizontal force F acts on the object and pushes it along the inclined plane, inclined plane with acceleration A. So A is a ribbon diagram showing all the forces acting on the object and B calculate the acceleration, the acceleration of the object. Okay. So firstly let's sketch on the figure itself what are the forces acting on the object. Okay, firstly the object has a mass course it will have a weight directed downward and then we have the external force here here okay horizontal force and given there that the plane is round means that um, there will be a frictional force our acceleration will be in this direction outward along the inclined plane therefore our kinetic friction will be in the opposite direction of motion downward lah okay right and then what else do we have uh, we also have the normal force okay normal force that we have when two objects are in contact with each other right so that are all the forces that we have okay so let's draw the free body diagram okay remember for free body diagram you only need to draw the main forces and you don't need to put the angle okay so for a it will be like this lah weight looking downward we have a frictional force in this direction you can just leave it at f target okay small f for friction don't need to write it at fk or fs and then we have the normal force this direction perpendicular with the frictional force and we also have the external force the horizontal force here Okay, perpendicular with the weight. So this is our free body diagram. Okay, you can write it uh, on the sketch, the direction of acceleration lah. Okay, to help you, but not on the diagram itself, just not touching with the any of the arrow lah. Okay, so that is the direction of acceleration. Okay.
So that is for part A, the free body diagram. So for part B, you want to calculate the acceleration. So the best way to do it is by first rotating your free body diagram. Lah. Okay. So if I rotate my free body diagram, I will make it so that the acceleration is horizontal or vertical, lah, whichever is easier. Okay. Here I can make it uh, to be the acceleration to be horizontal means that my normal would be in this direction. My frictional force is in this direction. Okay. And then uh, I have my weight here. And also the external force here. Okay. And in this case, my direction of acceleration is here. Okay. How about the angle? So let's see. Okay, so 30 degrees here, here is supposed to be 30 degrees. So here is supposed to be 30 degrees. Mean that here it will be 30 degrees as well. Okay, therefore when that is 30 degrees, this is 30 degrees as well. Okay, so we have all the necessary, um, all the necessary angles in our rotated free body diagram we can solve for our acceleration okay so by using um by using uh um the newton's law okay newton's law of motion firstly maybe we can have a look at the normal forces okay i mean the vertical forces so total forces in y direction is equal to zero here because vertically vertically okay there is no acceleration now our acceleration is only horizontal okay so that uh, it don't it don't it doesn't have a y value only have an x value the horizontal value so our total force in y direction kita is equal to zero because our acceleration in y direction kita is equal to zero lah okay so then uh, outward forces kita adalah normal whereas downward forces we have the weight cos the t plus the external force sine 30 okay so then uh, we can find what is the the normal force so this is mg w equal to mg the best is 2 kg so 2 times 9.81 cos 30 plus uh, the constant horizontal force f is 50 so 50 sine 30 so the normal becomes 41.91 sorry 41.99 newton so this is the normal force okay then we use our relation for x exists so total fx is equal to ma okay so secara vertical uh, secara horizontal uh, disebabkan ada acceleration we will take the forces that are in the same direction as the force in the same direction as the acceleration to be a positive value lah so in this case the acceleration the direction of acceleration is to the right maka siapa yang to the right which is x component of the uh, horizontal force ni dia akan jadi positive whereas frictional force dan juga x component of the weight akan jadi negative lah okay so then um, f cos theta is positive minus frictional force minus uh, w sin theta sin theta lah to be exact is equal to m a okay then kita satu various kita so this is 50 so luckily the the angle are the same eh? otherwise kita tak boleh guna theta 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 because they are more than one theta and more than one angle included so 50 cos 30 minus Fk is equal to mu k, so mu kita ada 0.25, mu kn, and tadi kita dah cari 41.99 minus w is 2 times 9.81 sin 30 equal to 2a lah, the mass is 2 kg, acceleration kita adalah a. Therefore, we can solve for the acceleration, acceleration kita mendapat value 11.50 meter per second square ok, jangan lupa unit dia ok now, on to the third question and also question number 9 
The figure 6 shows a 5 kg box placed on a frictionless horizontal table. It is connected to a 9 kg hanging box by a string that passes over a pulley. Okay. So, A draw free body diagram of both boxes. Okay. So, we start with the box on the table. So, kita ada weight of this box. Okay, let's name it as W1 lah. Okay. And then, kita ada weight of this box juga. Acting downward, W2. Okay. The box on the table is in contact with the table. Maka, kita akan ada normal force acting away and perpendicular. So, ada normal here. And lastly, jangan dilupakan bahawa pada string itu ada tension along the cord away from the body. So, kita makan dia sebagai P lah. And that also also for this box here lah. At the end, at the opposite end of the rod. Okay. So, how about the free body diagram? So, A, untuk 5 kg box. Okay, 5 kg box. The free body diagram akan jadi macam ni lah. Okay. Let's name it as W1. One, uh, the normal, and then the tension. Okay. So, um, logically, when this box, uh, this box is currently at rest lah, bukan gambar di static eh, dia tak bergerak. Tapi kalau lah kita dah set macam ni, kita lepaskan. Logically, uh, the system dia akan bergerak, and dia akan ada acceleration. And the direction of acceleration adalah box 9 kg box ni akan move downward. Whereas the box, the 5 kg box will move to the right lah kan? Because they are connected by a string. Okay. So then here we can transfer that to our figure diagram and show where is the direction of the acceleration. So our acceleration is to the right lah for the 5 kg box. Okay. And for the 9 kg box, the free body diagram would be W2 downward and also tension outward and we can note here that the direction of acceleration is downward okay so that is it so b determine the acceleration of both boxes okay so they both both the box will have the same acceleration okay so we have to look at uh, different boxes separately lah so looking at the 5 kg box so 5 kg box okay we know that uh, secara uh, vertical there is no acceleration but secara horizontal there is an acceleration so then for the 5 kg box total forces in x direction kita sama dengan uh, ma lah ataupun this one saya boleh namakan sebagai m1 lah nak differentiate between the mass of box 1 and box 2 eh. so 5 kg box is box 1 so then, secara horizontal, forces yang kita ada hanyalah ada tension. So the tension is equal to, mass 1 is 5 kg, so this is equal to 5 kg. Okay, so that's the only thing that we can do for uh, box, uh, 5 kg box lah. And then we look at the 9 kg box pula, ataupun box 2 lah. Okay, kita tiada forces secara horizontal. Therefore, we only look at forces secara vertical. So, total Fy is equal to M to A. Okay. And then, kat sini, kita punya uh, direction of acceleration kita downward. Okay. Therefore, weight ni akan jadi positif because weight 2 is in the same direction of acceleration. Whereas, tension akan jadi negatif lah because the opposite direction. So, then, W2 minus T is equal to to A. W2 is uh, 9 kg. So, this is 9 kg darabkan dengan 9.81 minus the tension. Kita tak tahu. Sama dengan 9A. Okay. But then, kita dah ada tadi T2 berapa? Ha, T2 sama dengan 5A. Let's see lah this, this one lah kan. So, kita substitutekan kat sini. Okay. Let's say, let's give it as question 2. So, substitute 1 into 2 Okay, so uh, 9 times 9.81 is equal to 88.29 minus 5a is equal to 9a. Okay, so then 88.29 is equal to 14a. 
So then A is equal to 88.29 over 14. So we will have a value of 6.31 the percent of square. Okay, so that is B. We have just calculated the magnitude of the acceleration of both forces. So C D to mean the magnitude of the tension. So this one we can use from our equation one. Okay, so C. So from one, T is equal to five times six point three one. We will get a value of thirty one. 0.55 Newton. Okay, so that is the magnitude of the tension. We get from equation one that we derive from box one. Lah. Okay. So on to the last question, which is question number ten. Uh, figure seven shows a stationary block P tied to a hanging block Q. The weight of block P is twenty five Newton. The coefficient of static friction between P and the horizontal surface is zero point four. Assume the pulley is is smooth and the string is light. So sketch a free body diagram of block P. Okay, so they're not free body diagram of block P so that's it. Okay. Tapi before we do that, let's consider all the forces acting on block P and Q. Okay. Um, so we have the weight of block P and we have the weight of block Q. We have the tension along the string away from the body along the cord. So in this direction and also in this direction. Okay. Block P uh, resting on a, a trough surface lah, because it matter either friction, either static friction. Okay. So obviously, uh, kita punya applied force tu dia akan ke kanan lah because the hanging block tu akan menarik. There is a tension to the right. So therefore, frictional force kita akan ke kiri. Kat sini ada kat selah. Static frictional force. And lastly, tak dilupakan juga, kita ada normal force lah. Output lah. Okay, when uh, the block P is in contact with the surface. Okay. So, A, let's sketch the free body diagram for block P only. So, for block P, we P, W, P, outward. Sorry, downward. We have normal. Okay, we have the tension. And then we have the static frictional force lah. So all these forces all are vertical and horizontal only. Okay. So B, calculate the mass of block Q. Okay. So we know that uh, the weight of block P is 25 Newton lah. If I may, I was writing here. Here is 25 Newton. Uh, the coefficient of static friction between block P is 0 0.4 here, given here that mu s is 0 0.4 lah. okay, so then when you have mu s, you can find what is s because you can find n okay. so let's do that first, what is the normal here, what is the normal for block P so using our Fy, total forces in Y direction is equal to 0 because there is no acceleration secara um, secara vertical means that normal P dia akan samakan dengan WP and WP is equal to 25 Newton maka normal P ok, normal of log P is also 25 Newton lah ok, therefore once you know that uh, you boleh cari uh, what is the the frictional force and also the tension lah ok, so for block P so we are still talking about block P so total forces in that direction is equal to 0 ok, dia kata this is a stationary block P eh. dia tidak bergerak ok, no acceleration so it means that uh, forces on the right is equal to forces on the left so to the right kita ada tension to the left kita ada static frictional force so static friction of force is equal to mu s n and mu s is 0 0.4 your normal is 25 okay so you get that your tension is equal to 10 newton okay and this tension p here is the one here lah okay the one here it has the same magnitude as the one here so if this is 10 newton mark tension by the block q juga 10 newton lah all right so recently for the two fx and fy that we use kita hanya look at uh, block p now we have to look at block q pula lah so for q so 
the two before was for P eh? now we are looking at Q so for Q total forces in Y direction theta is equal to zero so it means that the tension is equal to WQ okay tension is equal to mass of Q times G so therefore mass of log Q is equal to the tension divided by G which is 10 divided by 9.81 we get 1.02 okay so then that is the end of the topic 3 we have discussed all the different equation so please study again and good luck bye bye